The universe is infinite. The earth is perfect. Space is empty. Space is a place shrouded in myths, misunderstandings, and misjudgments. There is nothing wrong with that. Human beings, by nature, want everything to be simple and clear. In the case of a space that is difficult to understand, this results in myths, which are sometimes believed by millions of people. We will talk about them in the next few minutes. Let's start with the myth that our Earth is unique. We all love our planet, and, being born on its surface, we subconsciously strive to consider it better than others. Given that there seems to be no life anywhere else in the solar system, and no aliens have visited us, this gives rise to the myth that our Earth is not repeatable. Thousands of articles and videos are full of phrases about the one in a trillion chance of a planet like Earth appearing and the one in a hundred or one in ten trillion chance of people living on it. There are no questions about scientific calculations. Scientists operate with dry data and the technical judgment about the uniqueness of the Earth is correct. However, there is one nuance. Each planet in the solar system is unique in its own way. Mercury is the only planet that shrinks as it decreases in size. Venus has the densest atmosphere in the absence of a magnetic field. For some reason, Mars had liquid water, even though it received much less heat from the Sun. Jupiter, being the largest planet, rotates faster than of all the planets. A perfect hexagonal storm is raging at the north pole of Saturn, Uranus, for some reason, rotates on its side and is colder than Neptune, which is farther away from the, from the Sun. For some reason, Neptune has the strongest winds in the solar system. Pluto is geologically almost more active than Mars and has an atmosphere that goes into space higher than the Earth's. You see, what we're getting at is that each planet is unique in its own way, even even in such a small sample as the solar system, there are no planets that are similar to each other, so the chances of a planet similar to Earth appearing can be estimated at one in a trillion. But the chances of a planet similar to Jupiter are the same, and Saturn, Venus, and other unique and wonderful planets that we know. The presence of life definitely sets Earth apart from the list, but what about the rains of diamonds on Uranus and Neptune? On Earth, that's akin to magic. Jupiter, because of its mass, brings the hydrogen in its core to a metallic form. For many of our planet's inhabitants, this also looks like a miracle. Of course, we are very pleased that the Earth has provided the conditions for human life. But in terms of uniqueness, this does not particularly distinguish it from other planets. Moreover, there is every reason to believe that at least a couple of other places in the solar system is also present in at least a couple of other places in the solar system, which means that soon this parameter of the Earth may not be so unique. The next myth is also continuously linked to the alleged uniqueness of our planet. To be more precise, it is two myths at once. The first myth is that all the planets we find are lifeless worlds with terrible conditions. And the second is the myth that there are no aliens, because they allegedly did not contact us. Fortunately, both of these myths can be answered with one example. In mid-October 2022, a paper by scientists from Switzerland appeared in the ArcSiv research catalog. They asked themselves a simple question. What would the Earth look like from space if aliens hypothetically looked at it? The essence of the study was that the level of technical development of the aliens in the experiment was equal to that of the Earth. That is, they looked at the Earth as an absolutely identical civilization would look at it at the same level of level of development. This is usually done with the help of infrared and ultraviolet radiation. This is what the James Webb Telescope does. This is what exoplanet search observatories do. This is what amateurs do. These ranges are much more informative than the optical. Not to mention the fact that invisible light, distant planets are physically impossible to see with current. With the current state of technology, scientists cannot physically see them in visible light. They use the aqua satellite, 
which belongs to NASA and carries an infrared probe. After twisting it a little, they obtained casts of the Earth similar to those that would be seen by aliens. The results of their study turned out to be funny. The thermal radiation of our Earth can correspond to both optimal conditions for life and unfavorable ones. It all depends on the season of the region facing the satellite and the viewing angle. Unfortunately, the sad truth is that that humanity is taking its first steps in the study of exoplanets. The very fact of their discovery is a huge breakthrough. But it is not enough to assume that we can say everything about the planet. With current research methods, this is a mistake. The research of scientists from Switzerland is just one of many similar works. And it does not mean that all NASA data is fake and scientists know nothing. It only means that scientists will now work better and come up with more accurate ways to check exoplanets for conditions for life. And in the context of our first myth, it means that all the 5,000 exoplanets we have found are uninhabited. And we are now mostly finding large, hot Jupiter, because they are simply easier to spot. Small rocky worlds like the Earth have been found in a few places. And the second myth is answered by the fact that aliens are not necessarily gods. Their equipment can simply classify the Earth as an uninhabited planet, because it is enough to assume alien devices calculate the distance from the Earth to the Sun with an error of 10%. If the Earth were 10% closer, it would most likely be uninhabited. Here's another reason why no one is looking for us. We can be in the directory as a world with the thermal signature of an uninhabited planet, a planet that is too close to a star. And to top it all off, everything in the universe is moving, and our Earth is not visible from all sides of space. For some aliens, we may be hidden by other stars, galaxies, or the laws of physics in general. It's not so clear-cut. Usually at this point, you can hear the counter-argument that the universe is infinite, and therefore, there must be an infinite number of aliens. And in any case, some of them must be advanced enough to find us. This, gentlemen, is another myth that the universe is infinite. This is just a theory. It has supporters, but all the evidence lies not in the realm of mathematics, but in the realm of philosophy. The reality is that not only the finiteness, but also the shape of the universe is a hotly debated issue. Moreover, the most relevant and evidence-based theories claim that the universe is flat, we will not burden you with complicated formulas. In short, it is known that the universe is expanding in every direction without bending in a positive or negative direction. And since it does not bend, it means that the universe is flat. It is important to understand that this story has nothing to do with the flat Earth theory in modern geometry. 3D space can also be flat and the final shape of the universe is being discussed and the most unusual options are being put forward. For example, a team of scientists led by Thomas Butchert from the University of Lyon, Thomas Butchert published a paper claiming that the universe is a huge 3D donut. It's funny not only because of the form, but also because, in this case, the universe is not just closed in on itself, but also finite. So if you send a spaceship in a straight line, Sooner or later, it will arrive at the point from which it left. In the photographs of the James Webb Telescope, we may well see the light from our Milky Way, which has circled this donut and returned to the same point, but we will never be able to find out. After all, despite its closed nature, the universe is too vast for us to test it so easily. In general, the infinity or finiteness of the universe is not a close question and cannot be used in the context of aliens. For dessert, let's talk about one of the most popular myths. It says that space is an incredibly empty space that is 95% made up of nothing. Allegedly, the distance between stars and other objects is huge, and the vast majority of space is a boring, black vacuum. Technically, this is generally correct. The average density of ordinary matter in the universe is one hydrogen atom per four cubic meters. This is incredibly small, but there are several buts. First, we are talking about the average density of matter 
in the observable universe because of the expansion at speeds exceeding the speed of light. We physically cannot physically see the entire universe. We see a sphere with a diameter of 92 billion light years, and the size of the real universe is still a mystery to us. Someone says it is infinite. Someone says it is 23 trillion light years. What is important for us is that space works in such a way that the density of matter is always closer to the center of something. After all, heavy objects are located there, in star systems, these are stars. In galaxies, these are nuclei. It's the same with black holes. The same thing happens with clusters of galaxies. It is logical to assume that the same law works in the universe as a whole. In this case, it cannot be denied that our visible part of the universe is a fringe with a low density of matter. The development of quantum physics has given rise to theories that state that the density of matter in the invisible part of the universe can be hundreds of times higher. In this case, it would be difficult to call space empty. So, it is correct to say that only the part of the universe we can see is relatively empty. And even then, with reservations, there is a large void in the sky and the velopers discovered in 1981 by Robert Kirshner. This is a huge region with a diameter of 330 million light years, where there is almost nothing. If our Earth were there, the night sky would be empty, and we would only learn about the existence of other galaxies with the advent of powerful telescopes. On the other hand, there is a cluster of galaxies, SPT-34956, where 14 galaxies are packed in 400,000 light years away. The diameter of our Milky Way is about 100,000 light years. That is, the density of star formation in this region is a thousand times greater than in our galaxy. If the Earth were there, it would be almost as bright at night as it is during the day, so space is a relative place. It can be very empty, and it can be packed with dozens of stars and megatons of matter within a few light years. It may seem infinite, but when studied, it will resemble a finite one. Space can look lifeless according to some criteria, but incredibly favorable for life according to others. Relativity is the main feature of space, and to claim any of its characteristics is to create myths. This is what we do not advise anyone to do. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more interesting information about space and astronomy, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to like this video, so we know you appreciate our content. And leave us a comment with your thoughts and questions. Thank you for watching, join us, and see you soon in the depths of space.